Hey guys, welcome to Artist of Blender. In this beautiful video, I'll show you how you can make this glowing color balls loop in Eevee. So let's start without wasting time. First of all, delete the default cube and the default light. Now add a UV sphere. Decrease its segments to about 18. We don't need a lot of geometry for this. Now right click and shade smooth. Hit N and change its dimensions to 0 0.03 everywhere so it's not that large as 2 meters. Now go to front view and change the view to wherever you want your camera to be. When you're happy with your view, go to view, align view and select align ca active camera to view. This will change the camera's position to this view. Now move the camera until you're happy with its final position. Now select the sphere and duplicate it 5 times. Now select the 2nd, 4th and the 6th sphere and move them all the way down. This is the part where we animate the spheres. Now before we animate, first you have to change something. Go to Edit, Preferences, Animation and change the default interpolation from Bezier to Linear so it doesn't speed up or slow down. Now select the first sphere and check the Auto Keying button. Now hit G and left click on the screen to add a keyframe. Now you know that this sphere has to go down and when it goes down it has to go to the position of the second sphere. You can see that the second sphere is already at the down position. So select the second sphere and copy its Z location. Select the first sphere again and go 10 frames forward. Now paste the value in its Z location and now you can see that the first sphere is animated and it goes down with a linear motion. It's time to animate the second sphere. We have to animate it in a way that it has to go up and the position of the first sphere is at frame 5. So go to frame 5. Now select the second sphere and hit G and left click to add a keyframe like we did before. And go 10 frames forward like we did the first sphere. Now here you know that we have moved the sphere from its original position at Z axis. So we know that when it was not moved on the Z axis from its original position, Z location value was 0 like the other spheres. So simply change its Z location to 0 and it will go back to its original position and now it's animated. Now it's time to animate the third sphere. So go 5 frames backwards to frame 10. Select the sphere and hit G and then left click to add a keyframe. Now we have already copied the value of a sphere when it's at down position. So we don't need to copy that again and again, it's already copied. So go 10 frames forward, hover over its Z location and press Ctrl V to paste the value we copied. Now animate the rest of the spheres the same way. Just going 5 frames backwards and then going 10 frames forward, adding our keyframes, etc. Once you animate all of them, the animation will look like this. At this point, it won't loop, so in order to make this animation loop endlessly, we have to change the positions of the spheres where they were before, like this at the first frame. So let's do that. Select the last sphere and go 5 frames backwards. Now select the first sphere, hit G and then left click to add a keyframe here. Then go 10 frames forward. Duplicate the first keyframe and move it to this frame. Now go 5 frames backwards again, select the second sphere, hit G and then left click. Go 10 frames forward and duplicate the first keyframe and move it. Repeat the step until you animate all of them this way. This is the part where we limit the timeline. If we select all the spheres, you can see that the animation ends at frame 65. Now you may be thinking that we have to limit the timeline to 65 frames. Now, if you do that, this won't loop and we'll start again with an unsatisfying jump. So instead, we limit the timeline to 64 frames. That's because you can see the keyframe at the first frame. This will work as the storing frame for the last frame. So limit the timeline to 64 frames and it will loop forever. Go to shading workspace. Select the first sphere, click this thing and choose the material. Rename it as pink. Delete the principal BSDF and add an emission shader. Change the color to pink. Increase the strength to a value of 10. Select the second sphere and click on the new. Rename this material as blue and repeat the step. Select the third sphere and add a material and rename it as red. Repeat the process. Select the 4th sphere, click this thing and choose red. Choose materials for the rest of the spheres the same way.
Move the camera a little bit to suit the scene. Now go to render properties. Decrease the render samples to 16. And make sure to check bloom. Go to work properties and change the color to pitch black. Mess with some settings. Go to render and render animation. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Anyway, thanks for watching.